All right, this is our first quick install of Blink for Windows. Uh, we get the window there, we click next, or stop that agreement, click next. Okay, next, next, next. Get to the desktop, click on it, and click install. All right, it paused there for a little bit, just took about uh, 30 seconds, and then we have a Bonjour SDK that came up here. Click next. Stop. Next. 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 I'll let that install. All right. Blank for Windows is a is beta yet, and you need to follow instructions on iCanBlink.com to download it. So don't want to be too too critical of it. The install seems a little bit complex. So we'll click fin finish. Takes a little bit of time, and eh, not too bad. Click finish there. All right, so that's start. Now we're going to run Blink for the first time here on Windows. I've run it, or I've uh, used it on Mac. It's a very, very polished product on Mac. Uh, the Windows product is newer. So we'll wait for it to load up there. All right, once again, we get kind of bombarded with screens here. First of all, let Windows have access there. But once again, this is this is a beta product, so I don't want to be too critical of it there. Uh, make sure that uh, let that check automatically. Just keep trying to get, and maybe I even ran it twice. That might be my problem. Okay. So we'll fill this out. I'll close while we do that. And it looks like we just need to type in our the username and password. So I'll do that. And I'll just pause it so we don't show the ID. We'll be back. All right. Got it installed here. I had a, uh, didn't, wasn't automatically setting up the output device, but that's pretty. But just looking over here, it looks looks pretty clean. That's what I expected from, from Blink. Um, a couple things. You can have the calls, uh, the ongoing calls. Let's just make a call. I'll call my voicemail. So there you see see the call. And if there was more than one, they would all show there. You can put it on, put it on hold there. And you heard that nice tone. Uh, that's a very accurate um, blink all the way through. Everything is very smooth and well thought out. Uh, you can have multiple accounts, it appears like. Uh, we're setting up to have presence eventually. At this point, I don't think they're uh, having presence. Um, why don't we just scoot this up so you can see the bottom? Uh, like that. I'm not going to be able to drag that up right, but we'll just let it like that. Um, and down here would be the the contacts. Uh, so I'm going to click on the plus down here, which you can't see. You could add another add another contact, as you can see there. Get all lists in there. You can just click on them to dial. Let's. I'm just going to add another one here. All right. So now we see. I just added. Probably not going to add your voicemail, but if you double click that, it will call that number. Okay. And we'll hang up. But you could press the red dot there to record the call. Um, you can also just dial a number like 717. You could just dial the number right up here and hit enter. Uh, it seems like Blink is committed to not having a dial pad, which I, I can I can respect that. That uh, seems the way newer SIP clients are going. Um, but all around, just it's smooth. Uh, you can see visual voicemail there. You can see I have one voicemail redial. Use two strokes to automate that. Um, but a nice, and there's currently there's a version for Linux. Windows is in beta, and they also have a Mac edition. Uh, I got onto it by using the Mac edition, but Blink, a SIP client that is, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, I have a pretty high opinion or a high estimation of Blink. So that's my first sighting. You saw it with me for the first time.